Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Berlin boosts productivity by 65%, compared to September, plans to add third shift in December. Tesla's automatic hide beams get shout-out from owners, with 2020.40 update. Tesla Quebec, LG, and others work on new battery passport. And, Tesla mobile app update adds vehicle release notes and more. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Gigafactory Berlin increased productivity by 65%, compared to September. In this regard, the company plans to add a third shift in December. Tesla's new factories continue to actively ramp up production, aiming to reach a production capacity of 5,000 vehicles per week by the end of 2022 or early 2023. It looks like things are going really well at Gigafactory Berlin. On October 1, the factory announced that it had reached a production capacity of 2,000 Model Ys per week, meaning that it was averaging about 333 vehicles per day. It should be kept in mind that Giga Berlin operates six days a week and not seven, like other factories of the company. New information indicates that Tesla's German factory has made significant progress since then. Drive Tesla learned that last week, Giga Berlin set an impressive new production record. In one day, 550 cars were produced, which corresponds to an increase of 65% compared to September. It is worth noting that this increase in production capacity occurred in less than two months, which is a strong indicator of how quickly the factory can grow. Thus, at the moment, Giga Berlin is producing around 3,300 Model Ys per week, which is already approaching the planned milestone of 5,000 vehicles per week. If the factory continues to increase capacity at the same rate, then the milestone will be reached before the end of the year, as originally planned by Tesla. In addition, this rapid increase in production makes it possible to add another work shift. According to the document reviewed by Drive Tesla, a third production shift at Giga Berlin will be added as early as mid-December. This will enable the factory to remain operational 24 hours a day. Moving to the next update, Tesla's automatic high beams get shout-out from owners with 2020.40 update. Tesla's lineup of all-electric vehicles are loaded to the teeth with tech and convenience features, but some of them, while great on paper, have received polarizing reviews. Among them was automatic high beams, which some Tesla owners have previously dubbed as flat-out, unusable, since it sometimes dazzles oncoming traffic. Fortunately, this seems to be changing now. Tesla's automatic high beams have been around for some time. In the Model 3, the feature was rolled out in update version 8.1, to much appreciation from owners of the all-electric sedan. The function has proven to be quite polarizing, however, with a good number of Tesla owners complaining that the feature is inconsistent at best. As noted by Software Tracker, not a Tesla app, the company's software version 2022.40 actually included an undocumented change in the form of improvements to automatic high beams. And as per comments from a number of Tesla owners, it appears that the improvements to the feature are substantial, so much so that some have noted that the function is now perfectly usable. A Tesla owner who runs the YouTube channel, EV Raffle, posted a video of the new auto high beams in action, noting in the description that the improvements to the feature are a welcome change in 2022.40.4 update. As could be seen in the video, the feature does seem to work pretty well now. The automatic high beams respond quickly when there are oncoming vehicles, and they're also fairly quick to engage when there are no cars ahead. Fellow Tesla owners echoed similar experiences in social media, with some noting that they barely touch their vehicle's headlight controls now. Others joked that the team which fixed the automatic high beams should probably also try their hands at fixing Tesla's automatic wiper controls. Just like automatic high beams, after all, some EV owners have expressed their annoyance at Tesla's automatic wipers, partly due to the feature's inconsistency. Moving to the next update, Tesla Quebec, LG, and others work on new battery passport. 
Tesla Quebec, LG, and others, through the Global Battery Alliance, are working on a new battery passport to help track battery materials. The project is important to make EV batteries sustainable and is critical to the new EV incentive in the United States. One of the biggest arguments from EV naysayers is that battery material mining is just as polluting as burning gasoline. That's plain false, based on important studies, but it doesn't mean that there's no room for improvements in making battery material mining more sustainable and ensuring that all the resources come from ethical operations, especially without child labor. Global Battery Alliance GAB, is pushing a new solution called a battery passport. GAB is an industry group made up of over 100 companies involved in the EV battery supply chain, from mining companies like Glencore to automakers like Tesla and battery cell makers like LG. The group's goal is to help establish a sustainable battery value chain by 2030. One of the first steps in making a sustainable battery value chain is to understand where all materials in a battery cell come from, which is harder than one might think. A battery cell is mainly made up of a cathode, anode, separator, and electrolyte, and each of these parts is made of several different materials that need to be processed. From mining to processing to assembly, it can be hard to know where every part of a battery cell came from, which is important to know to make sure the entire value chain is sustainable. It also happens to be important for automakers to know in the United States, since the new federal tax credit for electric vehicles includes a requirement that battery materials come from North America or countries with free trade agreements with the United States in order to get the full $7,500 credit for new EV purchases. Some automakers are not even sure if they will get the full credit when it goes into effect in 2023, because tracking can be so difficult. This is where the Global Battery Alliance's battery passport comes in. The project is led by GBA's steering committee, which is co-chaired by Tristan Meckham, Tesla's project manager for responsible sourcing, and Simon Thibault, senior director of battery value chain for Investissement Quebec, a public investment arm of the Quebec government. Interestingly, we recently reported that Tesla has been visiting local mining companies in Quebec and it is looking for a potential factory location. Years in the making, the group recently announced the first step in achieving its battery passport with the release of the first version of the greenhouse gas rulebook. Moving to the last update, Tesla mobile app update adds vehicle release notes and more. Tesla released a new version of their mobile app, bringing with it a feature that was first hinted at coming earlier this year, the ability to view vehicle software update release notes without having to actually go to your car. We first reported on this feature coming to the mobile app back in March when it was first detected in the source code of an app update. With the release of version 4.15.0 on Monday night, it has finally been added into production. If you are on FSD Beta 2022.36, you will have to wait a little longer, as the app release notes indicate, your vehicle also has to be on version 2022.40 or higher. To access your current release notes, scroll down to the bottom of the main screen in the app, where you will see release notes underneath your software version. From there, you will get detailed release notes, including images, for all the features included in that release. Other updates with the new version of the mobile app include the ability to view your live camera from the main screen of the app when your sentry mode is already active. Once you are viewing your live stream, there is also a new sentry button in the top right corner, which takes you to the sentry controls screen. One other interesting update that isn't live yet is the addition of a new interior camera asset which seems to hint we will finally get access to views from the cabin camera located above the rear view mirror. We were expecting the view from this camera to be activated with the impending release of Zoom, but it looks like Tesla will be opening it up for more than just that use. Hopefully, this view is added to the Sentry live camera views so we can check on pets that have been left in the car with pet mode turned on. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.